Hey guys, before we get to the video, please click that subscribe button. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia. And I've been doing a series of videos on different heating and air brands, families of brands, who's who, and if you're comparing different brands. And so we did one on Train and American Standard, you know, the Ingersoll Rand lineup. We did one on the Carrier ICP brand lineup, and then we did one on the Ream and Rude. And so now we're up to one of my favorite brand lineups. And I, you know, I, I know if you're watching this, I, I found that heating and air is kind of like uh, cars. You know, you like Ford, I like Chevrolet kind of thing. You know, who's better? Well, it kind of depends on your experiences. And one of the companies that we've had the best experiences with is the Daikin lineup of brands. So Daikin, who also now owns Goodman and the Amana brands here in the USA. And so unlike some of the other brands that we've talked about in my other series, uh, you know, where I went through the, the train and the carrier brands and all of those, unlike some of those other guys, Daikin, for the most part, has a definitive difference between their lines. So it's not like they're rolling off the same stuff with different labels on it, where they're just slapping different stickers on it. Each one of their brands seems to, they're, they're trying to target a particular market, particular customer. Customers that shop at Nordstrom might not be shopping at, say, Walmart, right? Or vice versa. And it's not that either one is wrong or bad, it's that it depends on what you're after, right? If you're after a really good meal, you're not gonna go to McDonald's. Uh, you, you know, if you're after something fast and quick and cheap, maybe you would, right? So let's talk about each one of the brands that Daikin is the parent company for. And I did a whole video talking, it's called Goodman, Good and Bad. And if you, you know, I'm gonna put a link to that video right up here. So if you wanna check that out, if you're looking at the Goodman brand lineup, that's kind of their builder grade lineup. Not that it's, you know, bad or anything like that. One of the things, and I talk about it in that video is Goodman has gotten a reputation that may or may not be fair. So, and the, the reason I think they've gotten the reputation of maybe having breakdowns or this or that is accessibility to their product. They've made their product really accessible. You can go online. In fact, you can go into some of my suppliers that sell to us. There are some products and brands they will not sell to someone off the street. But when it comes to Goodman's equipment, it seems like anybody can just walk right in the door and buy it. So. Is that a good or bad thing? You know, I'll leave that up to you. That's, you know, the thing with Goodman. And, you know, I've put in a lot of Goodmans. We've had success with the Goodmans. If they're installed correctly, they seem like they're a pretty decent product. We usually attach a three-year labor warranty and a 10-year parts warranty, which is what comes from Goodman. And that's a little higher than a lot of our competitors because I believe in the product that much. Next, let's talk about the Amana brands. And of the three, Daikin, Goodman, and Amana, uh, to be completely upfront with you, I know probably the least amount about the Amana brand of the three. You know, so do your own research. If you got someone trying to sell you an Amana, again, unlike some of the other companies, you know, where it's say a Carrier and a Bryant being the same product, Amana is supposed to be a step up. It's supposed to be from Goodman that is, it's supposed to be a step up. It's supposed to be a better made product. It's supposed to come with a better warranty, all that stuff. And their, their heat exchangers are supposed to be, I believe they're stainless steel, whereas they're probably more, you know, galvanized with the Goodman lineup, you know, and that, I think that might be changing too. Uh, Goodman's, Goodman's uh, starting to make some better products. They I think they have a unit that'll go up to 18 sear now. And and then I believe with the Amana brands, there you, you start to get into some of the inverter technology, communicating technology, and that is not the case with Goodman. Goodman, they do have some communicating stuff now, 
but they do not have, as during the making of this video, they do not have an inverter system yet. And so, yeah, so I just confirmed it uh, on their website. They do have a true inverter system and they've got some really good warranties on some of their products, Amana that is. They, they've got some, some good stuff here. They've even, they're, they're, they've got some ductless systems, things like that. So I would say Amana is probably targeting a little bit, you know, a customer that they still want something, uh, you know, good. They're not looking for the cheapest thing. They're not really looking for the most expensive thing, but maybe something in that middle range. But they have some products that compete with right up there with some of the best stuff, right? Finally, I want to talk about the Daikin lineup. Daikin is the company that we at Griffin Air have decided recently over the last um, probably year or so to hang our hat on. There's a number of reasons for that. First of all, Daikin is sort of their flagship brand. So they're starting to make more products under the Daikin name versus the others. They're starting to offer products that you can't get anywhere else. Their VRV Life line is unlike anything else in residential where you can mix and match different indoor either ductless or ducted systems with just one outdoor system and you might say well I've seen that with other brands too yeah but this is like you know it's so interchangeable so like if you were to install some of their competitors they might have a multi-zone outdoor unit with just say three ports or four ports and and then if you were going to do more than that you might have to install something like a distribution box and things like that where with the Daikin VRV Life, they can mix and match. They have these RefNet Ys that go into the line sets for each indoor unit. And there's all kinds of combinations that you can do. And it's just a super efficient system. I think it provides heating all the way down to negative four degrees. And one of their newest products during the making of this video, it's come out in the last couple of years, is the Daikin Fit. And I did a whole video on the Daikin Fit Essentially, what they've done is they're taking some of that inverter technology that they're coming out with systems, but they put it in this cute little tiny outdoor unit, right? So instead of having this gigantic 20 or 18 sear unit that's just ginormous sitting on the outside of the house to, re to reach those higher sear ratings, they've condensed it all down and they've got the dike and fit where you have the side discharge unit and it you know, can be right up against a wall with just a little bit of clearance and still work great. Uh, you can hang it up on the wall on wall brackets, just like you would a, a ductless system. There's us, all kinds of things. So that's the two things right now that we're most excited about when it comes to the Daikin line. Uh, with Griffin Air, you get a 12 year parts and labor warranty with the Daikin stuff, uh, the premium stuff. They have a unit replacement warranty on their premium products that if there were a major failure, like a compressor were to fail, they would replace the entire unit. Um, there's not a whole lot of brands that are offering that. So they've brought a lot to the table for us at Griffin Air. Unlike, again, unlike some of the other brands where, you know, you might have two different contractors coming into your home and they're say one's offering a, a train and one's offering an American standard and they're basically the same product. Well, with Daikin, when the, you, some of these products you can't get anywhere else. That's kind of one of the reasons we've decided to sign on with them. It's been a great relationship so far and uh, they've you know really just kind of met our standards, if you will, better than anyone else so far. So if you are in the market for a heating and air system, and you're in our coverage area. So if you're in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck of Virginia, give us a call. Uh, we, we'll give you a free estimate. We'll give you a, a you know, great warranty, obviously, and a great product. If you're not in our coverage area and you're still in the market for a heating and air system, first of all, hit that subscribe button. But second of all, you gotta check out my new website. It's newhvacguide.com. I'll put a link to it down in the notes. But you know, I'm putting all kinds of stuff on this website, the ins and outs, secrets that heating and air contractors and manufacturers don't even want you to know, I'm putting it on that website. I even have a page called No-Nos on there that it's things to avoid uh, when you're buying a 
heating and air system. So check that out, and we really appreciate you watching. Thanks.